Are you kidding me? Listen here, I had a whole bit about how my smile spreads like butter and I gotta let it shine and I can't wait for the day that masks disappear. And it was glorious, the whole thing was beautiful. But for some reason, I just lost all the the files in the in the in whatever. I just lost all the all the memory. I lost all the I lost I lost the track. I lost the audio. It's gone. The whole bits. I'm 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 not I'm not redoing it. That's not how comedy works. Comedy works. It's not, it's a natural flow and it's all timing. And it can't be redone. That was solid gold. You don't just craft solid gold out of thin air like that again. Roll that intro for the sad boys. Woo! makes me so happy but now i'm riddled with fear and depression and you might be asking why fear why not just crippling sadness well because the fact listen i might not be the best podcaster of all time but we could all admit all right we could all admit let's all grab the seat of our chairs and admit that there's a chance that this podcast might be the greatest the greatest 30 to 40 minutes of comedy gold you have ever heard or didn't hear because the chance that something could be deleted of something so amazing and great terrifies me. What if I drop the most, the, the biggest and largest comedy bombs and humor nukes and nobody knows about it? That's a scary thought and that's a scary feeling. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but there's a chance that I could make magic here. Okay? You understand what I'm saying? This could all be for naught. Now, that doesn't scare you. Well, I don't know what to tell you. You might not be hearing this. Please do. I, I, what happened here in the intro has never happened before. I've never, I've never made, I've never crafted such magic with nothing but the, the the chords of my vocal, the, with nothing but my vocal chords. (laughs) And they've disappeared. They're gone. It's gone to time. Now I would love to recreate it, but part of me doesn't even know what I said. So here we are, trying to pick up the pieces. We're going to pick up the pieces and make something new, something exciting. You know what? Screw that first a bit. The only way to, to conquer to conquer past failures is to fail even harder the second time. And if we fail so hard, you know, if maybe it's like maybe it's like a negative times a negative. It's a positive. If so, <laughs> You know what they say, uh... Two wrongs don't make a right, but like if two wrongs timed each other, they do make a right. So maybe if I fail, maybe two fails does make success. But will anybody see it? That is the question. Good morning. How are all you doing? I don't mean to get deep on this Black Friday of the 2020 year, but I hope you had an amazing, wonderful Thanksgiving. My name is Tristan Sarthorst, coming to you from the basement of my parents' house. I mean my professional podcast studio. Um, hope you guys are having an amazing, wonderful, beautiful time. Hope you're at Walmart right now throwing hands with the elderly, trying to get that 32-inch 4K Roku TV for $150. Now, I don't know if that deal is out there, but if it is... You know, I think that's, there's very few deals that, there's very few deals that I could justify throwing hands with the elderly. Not many, there's not many out there, but there are, there are times where you could say, you know what? Yes. Yes, this needs to be done. This is like, you could put a, you know, you could put a boot on a wheelchair, you know what I'm saying? Like a little, a little wheel lock is someone you're racing somebody in a wheelchair. I'm not saying that's right. Okay, that's not what I'm saying, but there are certain times where it's justified. 
it could be it could be justifiable. Now I don't know what those things are for you. Some some for some people the bar's lower. For some people it might just be fifty percent off a happy meal. But you know, there are certain things out there that I, that I, that I you got to be willing to do whatever it takes. And I hope you guys are listening to this and in the wars. I know it's kind of crazy out there. It always is. Even even in the Rona, even in the times of Rona, people are out there. People are lining up, lining up to get their things. And, and I think in most cases, Black Friday is more of an event than Thanksgiving is, or ever will dare to be. You know, all Thanksgiving really is. And I know I know it's nice that that we can that it has history and we can be grateful for certain things. But like. When you start throwing fifty percent off, you start throwing numbers like that around. Forget what well, forget what kind of fowl we're eating for dinner. Thanksgiving meal can wait till tomorrow night or some other time. When it's it's when it's early, and it's time to go get some deals. Black Friday just whew, it might as well be called Black Eye Day because the hands hands will be throwing. You feel me? I've only been I've only gone out on Black Friday once to secure a PS4, actually. Um, which is coincidental only because the PS5 is uh going abound right now. Um, however, you're not gonna find that in store, so give up on that. But the PS4, they had one more left in it. They had one more left, and I went in there and I'd never been out on Black Friday before, but I've I've heard the stories, okay? And, and for my Black Friday, it was, I'll, I'll tell you right now, it was a success. Okay, I, I got the goods, I walked home with the bacon. But when I went out, I didn't know how, I didn't know what it was going to be like. You hear stories, you're like, wow, you only order online. Because you walk in there, there might be those people. They're, they're, you know, you've, you've seen the YouTube videos, you've seen the little, the little Facebook clips and everything that's gone around. There's some, there's some nasty people out there. People are biting fingertips and pulling on your earlobes. Good for them. But it's it's a scary place. Okay. Black Friday lives up to the name. And you gotta be careful. So when I so I went when I went out there, I was on the hunt for the PS4 and I heard that Coles had a special deal. And they had one left. So I went to Coles. And uh and you go in there and like they they tell you that you're not supposed to go around and walk around the store. Now, this is kind of a weird thing. So you're like, well, why do you even let me in the store if I can't, like, peruse, right? I can't go and look around and try and find out what I'm... Like, how do I know what I want? I might not want... You know, I can't even cook. But if I see, like, a, a set of pots and pans that's 80% off, it doesn't matter how much it's going to cost. It might be for $94. But if it's 80% off... <laughs> can I, how can I pass up on that? So I might steal something from somebody else. I don't know what I want exactly on a Black Friday, but, but today I did. Anyways, I walk in here because I'm trying to grab myself a new PlayStation. Now they say, you can't go in here. You can't look around. I'm like, all right, fair. So what do I do? They say, you're going to have to wait for Santa. Now they got this big, they got this big jolly old dude and um, who, I'm not going to call him fat, but let's just say he looked like Santa. And... He's, now, Santa's not where he's meant to be right now because I'm sitting there waiting for Santa and everyone's trying to get a hold of him. They got these walkie-talkies. Santa, we got people over the front register. They're looking for you to take him to the video game aisle, which I didn't know Coles had until he checked online. Either way, we'd like to bring you to them to the video game aisle. Santa, if you could come in here. Now, everyone's buzzing Santa in. Santa's not coming nowhere, okay? I don't know what Santa's doing. I don't know what Santa's up to. It's not Christmas Eve. It's Black Friday. If anything, I don't know why they didn't have a turkey out. That's okay, but that's besides the point. So we're all we're all buzzing Santa. We're all every, everyone's buzzing. I hear the I hear all the walkie talkies. Santa, Santa. Nobody can get a hold of this this jolly old fella. He's out somewhere, and I'm getting worried. They they check the stock. Well, first off, they, they yeah, I skipped over a part. They check the stock, and the guy's like, "Yeah, we have we have one more PS4 back here on the shelf." Um. Now we'll bring Santa up to the front and go get you for you. So Santa is supposed to come and get you and bring you to the thing. Now I don't know why the guy who te- checked the stock didn't just reserve it or whatever. So I'm sitting here at this gate with Santa. Well, lack thereof, actually. 
sitting there listening to everybody trying to buzz this guy who's disappeared. And finally, I see this guy strolling in these big fat boots and the guy's boom, 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 boom. Guy comes in. He's like, yeah, I'm going to get you. Uh, I'm going to get you a PS4. OK, I'm like, all right. Sounds good. You took a long time, but I'm grateful for you because it is Black Friday. And that's kind of that's kind of when I can still be. Actually, it was Thanksgiving. That's not true. It wasn't Black Friday. It was Thanksgiving night. But the Black Friday deals went on early. Um, so it was Thanksgiving and I was grateful for this guy. You know, I wasn't upset with him at the time, even though, even though he, I was stressed out and full of ham and turkey in my belly, I was okay with this guy because he was going to help me out. So he comes over here and, uh, and he's like, all right, I'm going to get you one of these, one of these things. So then he calls the stock guy again and, and I had been waiting here for probably about 10 minutes, maybe more. It could, I really don't know. It's been a while. Um, I was waiting here for a long time, but this guy, he, he comes in, he's like, I'm going to get you, get you your stuff. We're, we're going to go over there. We're going to get it. I'm like, all right, great. You're the man. Love you, Santa. You the best. And, uh, so Santa calls the stock guy again. I don't know why. He's like, yo, you guys have any PlayStation 4s? Is that what you said, son? You said a PS4? I said, that's right, Santa. Give me a PS4. He said, all right, boy, I got you. Let's go get it. So he co- pulls up. He calls the stock guy. Let's go get you a PlayStation Fazor. And the guy's like, yeah, we're out. We're out? What do you mean you're out? You just said you had it. I'm waiting for the only fat elf you have in the store. Now, somebody walked in because you don't have to walk in with Santa, apparently, as long as you don't get stopped by the whoever. So some somebody else, some other, some other creature, some other person, <laughs> I don't know, I've, I don't have another name for him, but some, somebody else went in and completely avoided the Santa system and he didn't know. He, he was like, he's, he literally told me at first he was like, yeah, I think, I think we have another one. Let me just check up. Let me check on the stock. And I was like, okay, well, this is obviously going to go well for me. Cause I just talked to stock stock said they had one in and, uh, and somebody, somebody bypassed the, the Santa system and they got that for me. So I was a little upset. I was a little upset by that. And, uh, and I went on my merry way, <laughs> no pun intended. And I didn't get I didn't get a PlayStation 4 that day. That I I mean not that store. I did not succeed in that moment. And and Coles, you got a flawed system. I don't know if you're still running that play. It's been a it's been years. <sighs> but I was upset. I was upset with you guys. So I was on my way home, right? We're on our I'm I'm about to dip. So we are by the street from our house when all of a sudden I get this wonderful, glorious idea to call Target. Because I hadn't done that yet. And Target has one more in stock as well. But the beauty of it is, they don't have a Santa system. So my, my mom drops me off because I can't drive yet. And she drops me off. And I freaking book it as fast as I can through the aisles. And I find this thing just sitting just right there. So glorious like the light had been shining down from the heavens for who knows how long. And I had made it in time. This was my moment. This was my time. And I was so excited. I was, I, fe- I felt it. And I grabbed this thing and I put it in my cart. And I, and this is where all the fear started to set in. Cause I was like, oh shoot, is this like capture the flag kind of thing? Is this the last man standing? Cause I don't know who's going to want to get this. So I grabbed this, tar- this cart and I start walking through the aisles and I'm like, is someone going to tr- come and try and battle me for this? Because I'm ready. All right. I'm ready to do this. I was only 15 at the time, I think. And I was like, I knew. I knew whatever had to be done, I was going to walk out with this thing. And my mom had to drop me off first, but she had uh, my wallet. So I couldn't do anything. So I was just sitting there. I was like, where do I go? How do I be safe? So I walked away from the gaming section, obviously, because I didn't want anyone else to track me down there. So I tried to go to the, the, most, the, the most pacifist-like aisle I could find. Okay? I went to the cooking section right next to the um the little pillows pillow it was just like fluffy pillowcases and feathers and stuff like that i was like okay it's this is, seems like this is like a family home kind of mom section if someone's going to come in here i should be able to take them i'll be okay you know i would never hit a woman but but um no I'm g- <laughs> uh so long story short nobody came so i this song story's going on way too long but the point is uh, I, I walked away with the PS4. I shouldn't have said that at the beginning. Um, but yeah, no one came to challenge me for some reason. I don't know if it's because I had a re- they could see that I was well grounded and my quads were just like 
just boom, 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 just beating, like ready for a fight and ready to sprint. And whether I, if I could, if I couldn't beat those moms for the PS4, you best believe I was going to outrace them to the finish line. Um, but I won, I got my system and I was okay. And that was my only experience with Black Friday. It was actually, it was a very, it was a very, uh, I don't know if that sounded exciting, but it was actually kind of lackluster. There was no fights. There was nothing involved, but I would tell you right now on, on, on Black Eye Day, yeah, I'd be willing to throw some hands. With the elderly? Ha, 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 ha. If you're going to go out on Black Friday, you better be willing to throw down. That's what Black Friday is all about. It's really is. Black Friday is basically just the fight club of the retail world. And that's, there's nothing more to say about that. <laughs> um, What else is going on? So that was just, that's Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Did I, I don't even know how I started this show, but I hope you guys are having a beautiful night. Um, oh, geez, I'm, I'm so far gone. I missed last week, and I meant to tell you that at the beginning of the show, at the top, I I meant to record an episode before I had a vacation to Florida, but it kind of snuck up on me in the sense that I wasn't prepared for it, and then I was like, okay, I'm just going to bring a laptop um, and my mic, but then I remembered, because I'd rarely been on a plane before, that you can't, it's, you got to have room in your bag for that, which I did not. So I, I got screwed and I, I made a post about it and I addressed it. Um, but yeah, I missed and I apologize. And I, and I mean to, I, I mean to stand firm in the future episodes and staying on, staying on a one week forecast, right? And bringing it, bringing it down, um, as well as it possibly can be. But if you want to hear another story, you want to hear another story? <laughs> um, there were some, some interesting moments in the trip. I guess I'll just detail that real quick. Uh, bitty, 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 got there, left there. What, did, what time did I get there? I'm, I'm all thrown out. Okay, yes, we got up at 4 a.m. Got up at 4 a.m., flew in, easy, nice travels. Um, everything was fine, beach was fine, hotel was fine. I mean, there was, there was obviously, there's problems, but nothing too exciting, nothing I want to get into. Um... Nothing's gonna make you laugh. Maybe there is, but yeah, there was there was nothing too crazy going on at the beach. Now that I think about it, it was probably pointless to get into it. Um, what happened? I guess you know what? None. Of, there was nothing really exciting at the beach at all until we had to leave. So, um, so the, the day the day before we left, it basically everything was kind of kind of going great tensions were high there was like a little concert going on right next to the beach with this country singer and all these people around um there wasn't much there I was just you know and I I wasn't I'm not really kind of guy that can just sit there and look at the concert like look at the guy singing like it's just not super interesting to me like all right look at him like he's he's moving his lips how cool does that look um and it wasn't that much so I kind of like to live my life in like a like a music video kind of thing. And I like to look around and enjoy the scenery. And that's kind of what I was doing. And people thought I might not be interested. I was. I was having a good time. But I just kind of like to look around. And I'll tell you kind of the things I saw. Um, I looked to my left. And I saw this little girl who was sitting down in this in this lawn chair. And, I, and her mom was going like this. Get out of the chair. You need to get out. She was on someone else's patio, by the way. Um... And this mom, was already, she's already counting. And she was like, you need to be out of the chair and get right here at the count of three. And she's like, one. I'm like, dang, this girl, she's like two years old, but she don't fear nobody. You're not fearing your mamas right now? I don't know if I would ever dare my mom. I still, to this day, I wouldn't dare my mom. But even as a kid, she's going to say something like that. You better be running. She gets the two. I'm like, dang. She's like, she probably, she might not even make it by three at this point. But I'm, I'm kind of impressed. I'm like, dang, this girl's not afraid of nothing. This girl makes her own choices. And she's going to sit there and brave the storm. And in and, and, and the, first, the first little syllable of three, that girl gets up and runs over. I'm like, wow, okay, interesting, interesting. It kind of went really nice to the song, the, the crescendo. It was building, everything was, I was like, dang, this, it was really emotional um, in a certain sense. Uh and so that was kind of cool and interesting. There's a lot you can there's a lot you can find out about people just by looking around. Because as I looked to my right, I saw I was doing one of those sketching things. You know, where you sit down 
with somebody and they, they just sketch your face out and sketch whatever. Um, it was this couple. And this girl was smiling so bright and she was going to hold this and she was like, yeah, this is going to be so amazing. This guy's going to sketch us. We're going to have this, this beautiful drawing of us forever. And she's smiling big. Now this guy, another guy, her boyfriend or husband or whoever, this guy, did, he, he chose not to smile. He knew that this was going to take a while and he knew... He's like, I don't, I don't want th- this. That's too much energy for me. So this guy probably had the saddest and just drop blur, kind of face, you know, blur. That's the only sound effect I could really give his face. Blur. He was just sitting there. He's like, I'm, there's no way I'm going to smile, you know, for 248 minutes. So he's just going to sit there and ride that out. Um, <clears throat> now, I don't know how long those things already take, but they were there for a long time. And when I got there, they stayed there for a long time after. I I don't even know if they got out of that chair to this day, truthfully. But this guy was sitting here, and I kept watching him. He just, he was so, he looked so angry. And I assume he just, he just didn't want to hold that for that long. A smile. So he's like, what can I, what kind of face can I make for that long? Nothing. I could make no face. He even yawned. He yawned and he covered his mouth. Like he, he like, he, he's like, oh, he like didn't want anything, he, like, he would make a face on accident, and he would cover it. Like if he smiled or something like that, he would. He didn't. He only wanted to look blur. He only wanted to look like that. And that's a long time to stand like that. And I get that, but if you're gonna be, if you're gonna go through that experience in the first place, I don't know. I'd go for a smile. But either way, I hope. I hope they made it out okay. But again, with the music, the music was it was beautiful and, and slow, and it was the tale. I feel like there's you could you could just like a romantic movie you could just feel all the parts coming together except this guy just didn't care but it still felt powerful and he was just he was just there <laughs> and that's that's what I could say about that guy he was there nothing else he was there but you know it was it was a beautiful time so that was that's kind of you know super interesting that's kind of how I like to live my life with the music is to just look around and admire and see the things going around on you so that was that was that and we started we had to leave for the beach when we had to leave away from the beach and uh and everything seems fine right you get you get off and you drop these cars off we're racing against the clock already tensions are high still super high it's stressful we don't know if we're gonna make it in time if i can just make you understand the intensity of the situation so we finally drop off these rental cars and we get in the little the little taxi bus, these big things. Everyone crams in so tight and we're like, we did it. We're going to make it on time. Yes! Yes! We're going to do it. How amazing, right? And and just like that, everything flipped away. It's like, it's like the, the tides were turned in an instant. Like someone flipped a coin and said, nope. Because we're sitting there just kind of enjoying the view. Um... My brother's fiance remembered that she had left her wallet uh, accidentally in the rental car, and 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 they both they both I'd never seen I'd never seen people facepalm harder, like the the hardest facepalm you could ever see of all time. Like it's like if you could if you could put like it left the indent of your of your hand texture. Like you could hold your forehead up to your little apple thing where you scan your fingerprint and it would get it would go through and uh so it became this super intense moment it was so cool i'm sure they were stressed out but i I had faith everything was going to be okay but they did not and they were not ready for it um but it was it wasn't stressful for me i was kind of just there to witness it um because like dang this is so cool but i didn't want to say that because they looked like they were having a hard time um yeah, so 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 they're like, oh crap! Well, how are we gonna get through this? And the the driver guy, he's like, what? You left your wallet in the car? I could go back. I go back real fast. And she, he drops off us. He dr- he drops us off. He does a one eighty U turn and he speeds ninety eight miles per hour. He gets the wallet in time. I'll spoil it for you. He gets back in time. We get the wallet. We're running through the security check. Jump onto the plane with five seconds left. I don't know what the time was. We made it in time. Sat down. Everybody unclenched, and we did it. How amazing! Um, now I don't know if the Polish word was super. I've been talking a lot about nothing this whole episode, um, but I hope it's enjoyable to some extent. Uh, yeah, that was that was that was how that trip went, and that's where I was. That's why I didn't make an episode last time. Um, 
Planes are cool. How about... <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I'm just kind of I'm just talking here. We're just going to keep on talking. Um, so I haven't, I, I've been, I've been on two, I've been on four flights. I've been on four planes now, two trips, four flights. Here we go. Um, now this one had more turbulence you could say. Right. And, um, and, uh, yeah, it was, it was definitely shaky when you haven't been on a plane in a while. You're like, is this normal? And, uh, and you just kind of, you just grip the seat rest and you just go, oh shoot. And, and, and it gets kind of crazy and we flew, we had to fly at low altitude and stuff was good and just the wind. I don't know. I don't understand turbulence, but, but mostly this time on this, this mission, uh, it was, it was pretty clear. It was pretty nice. Um, oh, I went to the bathroom on the plane. I was gonna, I, I, I walked back and like, yeah, you can go on. The sink won't turn off though. I'm like, okay, um, it's cool. I'll just still wash my hands. Um. So I got, I get in there and I was going to, I was going to help, you know, I don't mean to be too gross right now, but I was going to go number dose. Okay. Number two D duty. Um, but because the plane felt a little bit shaky, um, I was not willing to do that. Right. I wasn't really to ride that turbulence. Um, so I just went to the bathroom real quick, um, came back and, 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 and because I didn't do that, you know, maybe I was breaking wind a few times and in this plane, uh, and, and that's just, and I, did I feel bad about that? Maybe just a little bit, but no one knew it was me. It's not like you can trace it back. It's just kind of like everyone's here for the ride. Um, but those seats are good. Those seats are good. For, those seats are good for breaking. Plane seats are, are really good for breaking wind and having no one know who did it. Right. It doesn't, it doesn't make any noise. Like the seats are like a perfect butt muffler. You just kind of, it's just like, and it's just, you just go on your merry day. Um, Again, no pun intended for the holidays. Um, and I don't mean to put too much uh, potty humor in here, but that's just who I am right now. That's what's on my mind. And I'm, I'm kind of going crazy. It's getting close, to, getting close to midnight. Where am I? What's going on? I don't know. I don't know where I'm at. I'm, it kind of just, as, as soon as I kind of start talking about the beach trip, I've just kind of been out of it. And it's, it's like I almost, excuse me, it's like I almost had a plan, but then it went out the window and I'm just kind of here, just kind of here now. And we could keep talking. I hope it's, I don't know. Here's the thing too, is I don't know how enjoyable the podcast is until I've listened to it afterwards. Um, so we don't know. This could be amazing. And again, you know, may, you know, the thing is I was talking about, maybe I make magic and it gets deleted. The flip side of that is maybe I make complete nonsense and it needs to be deleted. We just don't know quite yet. Um, it's actually been a half an hour. I actually, I actually, I have about three more stories to tell, but because I'm kind of losing my marbles right now and we're already half an hour in and it doesn't need to be an hour while I'm not... Um, in the right mental space. I don't know. Maybe I just close it. Maybe I do. Um, yeah, it's been a half an hour. That's such, it's such, it's such a weird close. You know, just talking, just talking about something like, so we're, attention's are high. Man, I'm out of it. Okay, bye. Um, but I, I mean, I'm a half an hour in. I've got some stuff and maybe I'll just tease up the little things. Um, I'll, I'll see these words. I'll say, uh, car impounded. PS5 guru. I guess these are two words. These are these. Are, it's it's one subject, but it's a, it's a double word thing. And uh, card declined. Those are my three things. Those are teasers. And if that doesn't get you excited for the next episode, I don't know what I could possibly say. You know, I could just throw in an extra word right there. How do you make that more? How do you make card declined more exciting? Dragon. Fever. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know. Come back next episode. Um, no, anyways. Uh, yeah, I have, the, I have these things. It's not actually because I'm out of my mind. It's just that these are going to take a long time and drawn out, and i got to do some things. But this has been good. This has been good. We're, we're back. It's over the fence. We're doing it. We're talking. We're singing things. I hope you had a good time. I really I guess I am ending it. Um, <laughs> point one for the weirdest ending of all time of podcast. Uh, yeah, I got some stuff, but you know what? You know what? Yes, I am going to end it. I am going to end it because no good reason. 
but it's happy Black Friday. I'm going to go try and fight some elderly off and get myself a nice big flat screen TV. Um, thank you so much for listening. <laughs> I don't know. I am ending it, but I am. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, I hope you enjoyed your stay here at Casa Santa Blah Blah Blah. I don't know other languages. Um, so thank you so much for listening. You appreciated your time, your 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 laughs and smiles greatly. Donated to my bank of I'm whatever. Thanks. <laughs> okay. I'm not. I'm not messed up, right? It's. I'm not high. I'm not drunk. I'm just insane. Okay. There's nothing wrong with that, but I want you to know that you can come back next episode, and I do have multiple things that we can talk about. They could be great, they could be lackluster, but we don't know. Um, Yeah, I don't know. Why am I out of it? Maybe there's something that needs to be explored right now, but I have a fear of it not going anywhere. I'm like, well, maybe I am on a high note and I don't know it, and maybe I should just get out before it gets too bad. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe this, I'm gonna I'm gonna learn a lot about myself right now, and I'm gonna cancel it. And I'm gonna I'm gonna figure things out. We're gonna listen. We're gonna see if it was magic. Maybe it was. Or listen. Okay. Pfft. I'm out. I love you. Peace. Thanks so much for listening. I'm gone. <laughs>